Hello everybody. Um, first off, I put a poll up um, because I was making a tent. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I put a poll up that has like a bunch of different kinds of videos that I do. And um, I just wanted to know what everybody kind of likes more of. I guess, just to see, um, it's kind of good to, to take the pulse of the YouTube every once in a while, I guess. I was going to do this, oh, and then the other thing is, um, I'm just taking a week off from Conan and Cthulhu, um, but I was going to do this video yesterday, and I couldn't figure out what to call it. And so, halfway through the day, I was just like, forget it, I'll do it tomorrow. And um, so then I woke up today, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to call it, and I still don't know what to call it, because I don't really know um, exactly how to talk about this in a short amount of time. So, um, my question to you is, do you... Okay, see, I don't even know. It's basically, like, when you... Okay, let's say you go to Barnes & Noble or somewhere to buy books. And um, there are uh, two different copies of the same book. Both paperback, let's say. Um, and one is, like, a black cover paperback... And one is like a white cover paperback. Um, do you care which one you pick? And if so, why do you pick those books? Or if you're at like a used bookstore and there's um, like a Stephen King book that's in like three different colors. Like, do you care which one you get? And here's why. With, because I've been reading a lot of Bukowski um, this month, and a lot of his books, the covers are white, and I notice that I treat those books with a lot more care, almost like they're like a vintage book, because I don't want to get them dirty. <laughs> so, for instance, like... Or all the time. This one I dirtied up a little bit. Um, but it's like, you know, a white cover, whatever. Um, the other thing about um, the Echo books, or Black Sparrow books, is that their covers are just cardstock. Like, there's no gloss, there's no like matte finish or anything on it. And does that matter to you? <clears throat> so anyway, so this book, um, I'm always, like, kind of careful with. Because I'm afraid it's going to get messed up. This one, also, it's like an off-white. It's like, you probably can't see it on here, but it's like speckled a little bit. But it's also a cover that is, it has no finish. And, um... You know, it's just, so I try to take better care of this for some reason. Mockingbird Wish Me Luck, another one. This one is kind of, I think this is just kind of off-white. I don't know what that is exactly. Um, and then this one, this is not a white book, but I almost take, I'm more worried about this book than any other one. This is um, Burning Water, Draining in Flame. Um, I love this ridiculous orange. It is so bright. And the lettering on the title is like this blue that like pops ridiculously. And then I think this is just red, like the little lines right here. 
but it might be pink. I can't tell because the orange pops so much. But I'm like, dude, if I got this dirty, like, it would, like, and there's, like, a little smudge, like, right here. And that's driving me crazy. So, but you can't really clean these because there's no finish on it. This almost feels like it has a finish, but it really doesn't. So, like, a book like this, this also is just a, a cardstock cover, but it's, like, gray, so it doesn't really bother me that much. And there's, like, a big stain on it. It was used, whatever. But, like, I really should take better care of this because... There was only a thousand made, 1970, whatever. But, like, this, I'm freaked out about. And, I mean, whatever. No finish on that. <clears throat> now, for instance, this book, this is also an Echo Edition. Um, this is Bukowski on writing, as you can see here. Um, this feels like there's like a matte finish on it. Yeah, there's something on here. Feels kind of like it. Um, but it's not that, like, nasty, velvety matte finish. This feels more like grip tape or something. But this, because it's black, I feel like I could, like, drop this in the dirt. I read up on the counter if it goes in a thing of water on the counter. I don't care if I'm boiling a kettle and I pull the kettle over and it spills on it. I don't freak out. Um, but like, I feel like I could do horrible things to this and it'll be okay. I don't have to worry about it. This is a really nice finish now that I'm like fondling and kind of molesting this book here. This is a nice finish. How come not all books are like this? Damn, this feels good. I wonder if On Drinking and On Cats and I think On Love have the same finish. Ooh, that's a nice finish. But anyway, or like... Here, I'll plug. Hey, everybody. Um, but like this. Like this book. Cardstock cover. It's pretty dark. But this has, like, a real glossy finish, and I could, like, drop spaghetti on this and just go like that, and it's fine. <clears throat> so, my question to you is, oh, this, because this was made, here, I'll show you this, because this was made through um, Amazon's Create Space. God, I hate the way this feels. The matte finish on this, it feels, like, furry. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, I hate that. Um, when I did my Black Star Canyon paperbacks through um, Amazon, I got that finish on it, and it just feels fucking gross, dude. Anyway, so um, what do you prefer? You know, like, do you care what your book looks like? Do you care about any of this? Am I the only one who stays up at night worrying about what gunk? God, this book feels amazing. I'm just going to feel this here. ASMR people. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, God, this, is, this book feels good. I might just put it in my shirt today and walk around with it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Talk to me. What do I do? I'm freaking out. And some of you might go, why don't you just get a book cover for it? Um, because then I would need to find a book cover that I like the feel of. So that's all. Let me know down below and make sure you take that poll that I made.